until the 14th of June. There is in New York an extraordinary exhibition of Florentine sculpture of the early 15th century at the Museum of Biblical Art, better known to New Yorkers as Mobia. The title of the exhibit is Sculpture in the Age of Donatello, Masterpieces from Florence Cathedral. I'm Timothy Verdon, I'm a priest of the Florence Cathedral, and I am also the director of the Florence Cathedral Museum, officially known as the Museo dell'Opera del Duomo, which has loaned all of these works. We have closed our museum for about a year and a half as we do very extensive enlargement and uh, revamping of the traditional space. It's a museum that had opened originally in 1891, but has grown slowly and in a disorganic way, now it will become one of the biggest and most spectacular museums in Florence. While the museum is closed for work, uh, we wanted to show uh, some of our masterpieces in different parts of the world. The big stop for our masterpieces is New York. Uh, New York for Italians is something like what Florence perhaps is for many Americans. It's an ideal counterpoint to their own reality. We have brought these works to New York in order to show the world what we have uh, and to suggest what the new museum is going to be like. The big project in Florence from the 11th through the 16th century was the cathedral complex. First they did the baptistry, then they did the cathedral. The final phase would be the building of the colossal dome designed by Filippo Brunelleschi. And among the things we brought to New York are indeed original wood models made so that Brunelleschi could show the cathedral foundation in his day what he was going to build. Uh, the dome, in a sense, which remains one of the great symbols of Florence, looming over the city's skyline, is the backdrop of the works that we show. The cathedral dome spoke of an untold capacity in the human being to overcome the difficulties of uh, history, to overcome the difficulties of life, to project an image of extraordinary hope, an ambition to be godlike in the human being's capacity to create. The works are a narrow range of masterpieces made at the very beginning of what is called the Renaissance. Uh, the Renaissance began in Florence and it began in the art of sculpture and the statues that are being made as the dome is being thought of, as the dome is being built, really project those same messages, but now in human terms. There are statues of men for the most part. There are statues of saints, of Old Testament prophets. Uh, there are statues in which the human capacity uh, to feel, to live deeply, to respond to God and to others becomes so eloquent that it's like being a theater because the object of all of this expensive and monumental art was to stir people's souls, to give people an image of what it meant to be human, of how human beings relate to the infinite horizons that their art suggests to them and of which God is the most intimate, the most infinite, I should say, but also the most intimate. I like my mistake there. It is an exhibit, therefore, certainly for those who may share the faith traditions that are represented uh, for Jewish and Christian visitors, uh, it is home base. Uh, but even for those who have different religious backgrounds or no religious backgrounds, I would dare to say even for those who have consciously rejected organized religion may say, I don't want it to see anything that relates to that world. Here you have more. We want to step back from the tradition of scholarly and often tiresome presentation of these works and allow them to be seen again as they were meant to be seen originally as a form of eloquent mass communication. I think New Yorkers particularly can relate to that kind of uh, inner ambition to express that which is important uh, in life.
In speaking about the relationship between New York, America, Florence, the very name of the New World, the name of the continents which compose the New World, North America, South America, really comes from Florence because the continents were named for the great Florentine cartographer Amerigo Vespucci and Amerigo Vespucci is part of the history of the Cathedral Foundation. In the archives uh, we have uh, the document that on that day Amerigo Vespucci was baptized, a later hand inserted after he had become famous that he was the finder of the new world, the finder of the new world, il trovatore del mondo nuovo. Uh, and so uh, in that respect Florence is the natural destination for all Americans.